Hello Aquarius, are we focused on work? We do have Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort, and we do have the commitment card. So for some of you, it might be a real piece of work, whatever marriage you are in, or commitment or relationship. Um, but can also, I mean, this combination of cards speaks of, I want to know nothing about love and I'm all about my career. The Hierophant is about institutions, organizations, maybe you work in a big hospital, maybe you work in, um, in a government setting, um, you know, whatever, um, right? So, um, we'll see. I mean, you know, hard work is good, but me time and fun time, I mean, why not, right? We all deserve in unlimited amounts, if I'm asked. You know, if my opinion is required, it has to come, the fun has to come in unlimited quantities. And from all over the place. Oh, are we in hermit mode, Aquarius? We do have the hermit here. Um, Virgo energy. So for some of you, you might be dealing with a Virgo and they messed up royally. We do have the seven of swords here. And for some of you, we went into retreat and focusing on work because somebody cheated on us seven of swords and ace of swords somebody cheated and we had clear-cut vision about this and now we are focusing on career and me time because the hermit is also me time it is shining a light on a situation and the wisdom but this is also i am going i am connecting to the earth and i am spending time in nature i'm meditating outside i'm taking long walks right that's the energy. It's amazing. I love this. But, uh, but they've made a mess and you found out about it and now it's a piece of work to get over this, right? It's a lot of dedicated effort to focus on you, your abundance, your energy, your wisdom, the lessons in it, because it's always fun to kind of, you know, go back and, and see the purpose for something in our lives. That is always one. We don't always see it. We have to hurt to see it, but that is a purpose in each and every hurt. So, just saying. So, Aquarius, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And, of course, you always um, have to uh, um, take whatever resonates and you can swap, right? The energies, depending on how you resonate with mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. You have Ace of Swords and you have Ace of Pentacles. And strengthening bonds and communication and working or somebody wanting to work with you. We will see how the energies go. So Aquarius, in the past, on your side, we do have the Six of Pentacles, right? And this is a card of kindness. This is an energy of uh, balance, of bringing to the table everything that you have and being extremely grounded. For some of you, you might have Earth sign um, in your birth chart somewhere, maybe in your emotions, uh, the moon, right? Um, because it felt, uh, it feels here uh, and it felt in the past as a world of patience in regards to this person. Um, this is really planting the seed. The energy of Seven of Pentacles is planting the seed, right? So every day you did something generous and kind and nurturing um, and you reciprocated feelings right from the beginning, right? And you, it felt like planting a seed because you knew at some point is going to be your return on investment. That's the Seven of Pentacles. It was going to be, I mean, you're waiting for the harvest, right? Um, because it, we invest in people and that is a time when we look for reciprocation and uh, and love and respect and uh, building something. Because you have a lot of pentacles, so I'm sure you invested um, into building something with this person. And it does feel like long term, right? Seven of pentacles, we wait for season, then we wait for the right time. So you invested for the long term. Um, and again, Six of Pentacles, you've, you've been kind, um, kind and fair and um, this energy. Maybe you are also the balance in this connection. Um, you know, this is how it feels like really being the uh, 
uh, the calming point um, in a connection with somebody. This is how it felt. Now the person um, you connect with, Aquarius, they have the Two of Cups, so coming together, but that's uh, the soulmate card. So they knew you were the one, right? And they gave you the love that you wanted to um, to have and all the love that they had. And this is about the spiritual union, right? This is a body, mind and soul type of connection. So they felt in a strong way for you. And it was not um, like, you know, it was important. And also six of wands, right? Feeling like they feeling like a winner right this is the energy of i got aquarius you know it's like yeah they are the one maybe a little bit of a trophy kind of but you are the one and you are the kind of the prize of um the prize not the price the prize of um, them wanting something solid and they really meant it of course it's a different kind of energy right aquarius on on your side we have this energy of groundiness and and um and focused on everyday life and focused on, um, you know, things around the house. And it's kind of interesting because you have the same energy here. Eight of Pentacles, right? I mean, let's not dream in, in uh, uh, you know, in colors, but let's have, you know, um, let's take it slow. That, that's the energy and let's uh, build um, something, you know, brick by brick. While this person was uh, full of emotions for you. And also with the um, Six of Wands, quite passionate, right, about. And I love this, Aquarius. Mutual Energy is the Soulmate card, Six of Cups, and yourself, the Star card. This is really wish fulfillment. This is an amazing connection with somebody. Um, this is them kind of chasing you and you chasing them, and that's all right, because it became this wonderful, um, you know, wishing on a star and having it. Um, also heal maybe some of you had to heal this connection and you got in a in a good place as as a couple and as um, lovers and we also have the soulmate card six of cups simply love so it was um, most certainly in the past this connection felt good um, and there was a bond I mean there was such a strong bond right six of cups two of cups um, like amazing energy well, right now, Aquarius, we need to move on. What's going on? We are at crossroads and we are moving on. Um, well, probably because we do have the Seven of Swords as the overall energy, right? So we need to make a decision. Somebody was dishonest. Maybe they did something that uh, it was not quite bright. It is combined with the Hermit. So, you know, somebody got their lesson in this. But nonetheless, um, behind your back, maybe there was something that was done. And now, right now we are, yeah, Eight of Cups, right? The destiny is waiting someplace else. And the Two of Wands, we are at crossroads and we have no choice but to choose to move on. That's maybe what you feel right now because um, it's current energies, right? Fighting to move on. Fighting to choose a path that is um, yours and maybe away from this person. Um... Now, the person you are dealing with, Aquarius, they have the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Two of Swords. I don't know if you are separating or uh, divorcing because Justice is about, um, you know, uh, getting a divorce, uh, going separate ways, waiting for a sentence, for a judgment of some sort, and then that is the Two of Swords, contemplating. This is more of, and maybe both of you, you are contemplating walking away. For you, it's quite clear right now or at least it's uh, present in your energy right um that that is uh, staying is not an option this is how i feel on your side while well, this person is contemplating justice and fairness but in the same time they are refusing to see something so they are uh, in denial about can be about this uh, legal situation the separation papers whatever needs to be signed maybe they are not seeing the uh, the fairness in it or you know, that is, uh, for some of you are really dealing, dealing with somebody in denial and um, getting blindfolded, like intentionally, right? In regards to this justice card, maybe they need to, to do things right by you and they are not seeing it. For some of you, you are dealing with somebody really asking for a divorce here, but not seeing that, they, you know, they need to think about uh, further, you know? 
and mutual energies between the two of you well might be a marriage Aquarius you have with this person because we do have my second marriage card after the Hierophant this four of wands and it's paired with the nine of wands it is a card of uh, being hurt it is an energy of of being hurt and yet being perseverant so for some of you this is a big strong piece of advice you know if this is about moving on and separation we do have joy and stability rest and reconsider so if this connection was felt good at some point and it was very um you know um a, a deep emotional connection in the past for some of you maybe we need to think about right and for some of you can be a piece of advice can we work on this and make an offer to work on this connection and work on whatever betrayal happened now of course the judgment is all yours uh, i only know people make mistakes um and nobody's uh, saved from mistakes we all make them and um, no judgment there so i'm just saying you know um so yeah yeah, this is a hurt marriage in some way and probably on an impulse. Um, I, I feel more that um, when I look at the overall energy, right? You have so many energies. You have the, the hermit. This is the energy of wisdom. So it's kind of and in, in my readings and in, I'm, um, I'm, us I'm using the Hebrew philosophy, right? Of, um, of tarot readings. We know this is about lessons and pieces of advice, right? So for some of you, it's really like, okay, let's be wise. Let's not do something. Let's shine a light on this. Let's not do something on an impulse. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. You know, it's not a major arcana, but it's an energy of hard work and focusing and dedicating time on this. And then we have Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, strengthening bonds and clarity of belief. One is about honest conversations and also cutting out everything that is no longer helpful to this connection. And we have strengthening bonds. So again, you know, we might act on an impulse, we make mistakes, and then we just go back and, and think about it. And this is how it feels so far. And I know both of you are hurt. That's the nine of wands. And feeling like, you know, moving on and... Um, and it is, it's interesting, you are ready to kind of let go and they are refusing to see that they need to do uh, right by you, right? They are refusing to see that they need to bring some fairness to this and the situation was out of balance. Um, Aquarius, the outcome, we do have the Nine of Cups, dreams coming, coming true, and this is wish fulfillment, and this is happiness card, and this is getting what you want. But then it's paired with the Nine of Swords, right? Darkest fears. You might be afraid, you know. This is kind of the combination of energy saying, make sure you know exactly what you wish for because you might get your, you know, dream and then it can be scary. Um, it also speaks of cycles and I do believe that is one. It's like being afraid of happiness or being afraid to give them another chance. Um, Aquarius, that's another combination. This is also saying, well, they are my wish fulfillment, but they keep me up all night, right? In um, nightmares and conflict and, and mental conflict and being stressed out and sometimes depressed and anxious about and not knowing and afraid, right? So it might be one of, one of those dynamics, um, you know, when somebody is highly passionate about something and the other person is more kind of grounded. And it does look like your case over here, right? Somebody's, um, you know, maybe emotional and uh, abrupt about something while on your side you are more like, yeah, this is what I'm, you know, and you want to take the steps. Now, Aquarius, I love this um, because the outcome on their side, we do have your card again. So your energy is, is all over their energy. Um, and also we have the hangman trying to understand your perspective walking a mile in your shoes i love this observing you yeah so somebody might be stalking you but in in, in the same time the purpose is one of understanding 
is one of awakening if you remember traditional tarot the the hangman has a light around his head and it's the purpose of making themselves hanging from a from a tree so that he looks at the world upside down and sees more than uh, right the usual and the classic um you know opinion of a, of a thing so that expanding your mind in regards to you and mutual energies i love this even more take the lead and love right we do have gemini energy and the three of wands is waiting for ships to come home so this is saying that both and probably this is kind of a cycle um this is the energy of both of you you know you'll go back to, you'll get back together again right three of wands is just waiting for ships to come home we've invested and we know it's coming and it's coming because that is still love here actually a lot of love and it makes sense um, because we have Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, so we start a new cycle with this person. And it, I'm not going to lie, it might be a lot of work and also a lot of wisdom and looking at the lessons uh, learned in the past. Um, but this love has a good foundation, Aquarius, right? When we look in, in the past energies, that is a lot of reciprocation and kindness and generosity and a lot of healing that, that took place and also your own your own energy all over their energy so um i'm not sure this is I, I mean i'm convinced actually that this cannot be over you know uh, it's a, like a bump in the road right but uh, let's ask for some guidance let's see what we uh, need to do what we are guided to do and again you know better your situation so you'll have to use your own judgment but you know we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Beautiful. We have expressed your love, so it looks like this one is on you. Maybe you need to talk more, Aquarius. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. This person, is, I mean, I if this is a bump in a road, you'll get back together very soon, actually. And you have some homework, Aquarius. I don't know when was the last time you said I love you to this person. Or if not, I love you, at least how you feel. We do have choose freedom. This is the devil. And in terms of zodiac signs, you do have Virgo energy. We have Aquarius like yourself. We do have Libra energy, Gemini energy, Pisces, Cancer sometimes is the hangman, but I'm not, um, I don't always feel like it. So, um, and now we have a Capricorn, we have the devil, choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacle that you are so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Yeah, changing perspectives in a way in this deck, in, in this um, oracle deck, right? Or changing the path, taking another way. Six of Wands, you have it twice. You have it on their side and now you have it here. And it says what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success bringing a words promotions or other recognition for your efforts well then if someone who can help you offers assistance know that this this person is heaven sent and say yes beautiful this is winning actually this is winning and there is a sense of temptation aquarius we have the seven of swords and the devil so i'm not gonna lie somebody was tempted by life um by somebody else by god knows i'm gonna call it life um and maybe this is uh what we really need to um kind of address and discuss uh from a place of generosity and kindness and understanding right and with the clarity of belief also because you know um forgiving somebody for cheating it's a whole philosophy right and some of us we might uh very well uh deal very well with this and you know um it was nothing it was just um you know um and some of us it's um it's uh, unbearable right that is no way that somebody who made a mistake we're going to take them back so clarity of belief aquarius is exactly that you know if this is about temptation with the devil and the seven of swords 
and um, the idea is can we can we live with it right can we build on it or can we change it can we you know see it from a different perspective can it be a lesson or not you know however you and I feel this is what we need to work on and try to understand a bit and we do have be open to success this is the chariot so it's cancer energy maybe you are dealing with a cancer so look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance you've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way but don't be shy allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve just beautiful and Aquarius, we have bottom of the deck, seven of swords again. So I know, I know, I know. It was a tough moment and probably that is still one. So um, I do love the guidance in it. So I'm going to read it to you. So it says you've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend or discovered on your own, it feels it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. So for some of you, Aquarius, right? The guidance is if you still need time to figure out and process and have that clarity of belief, well, that's all right to ask for time. Now, Aquarius, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.